This one, isn't it cool? Hi guys, my name is Missy, and I am a full-time thrifter, picker, or better yet, treasure hunter. I love finding things that catch my eye and bringing them back to life. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, auctions, dumpsters, and yes, even curbs. So come join me on this adventure. Let's do some picking. Hey guys, Missy with Junk To Be Loved here. I am back with another haul video for you guys today. Um, today is my haul video from the Benz, um, from yesterday's video. Um, this time at the Benz, my total spend was $33.54. I had, um, 24 pounds worth of stuff, and then I had two books. Um, and everything is weighed by the pound. If the books are over a pound, then they're just straight $1.29. And both of my books were, I had a lot more books, but only two of them were over a pound. So they were a straight $1.29. Um, so I had a total of $33.54. So not too bad for this haul. Um, the first thing that I'm going to show you so I can get it out of the way is it's heavy. It's I did weigh it. It's four and a half pounds. But is this? It's a vintage eyeglass mold. I found that in the bins. Isn't that crazy and weird? I don't know if it was in someone's antique collection or I have no idea. But it is heavy. It's four and a half pounds. Here's what the back looks like. And that. So, pretty cool. It's, it's neat. Like I said, it's heavy. It weighs four and a half pounds by itself. So that's what made my weight go up in the cart. Okay, then I grabbed this, and this is from 1986. It's a clock o dial. It um, teaches your child how to tell the time. And as you've seen in the video, at first I only found the box. This was uh, in it, but then I eventually found it, and I was super stoked that I kept the box. Because in the bins, you never know. Everything just gets tossed and turned. And this is neat. It's See, you can turn it, and it just tells tells the time and stuff so I thought it was pretty cute like I said from 1986 the box is a little tore right there but not too bad and then this is what the back looks like you can see the date I don't know if it'll focus or not but pretty cool and it's kind of rare to find things in the box still at the bins. And then I picked up um, some computer games. They still, they're not scratched, they still look like in brand new shape, so. There's these two. And then there's these two. These two are thicker cases. I thought they were neat. They barely weigh anything, so. Four computer games. Then, um, a lady that I was there visiting with, I had just met and I had a nice little chit chat with her. She was super sweet and nice. Um, gave me this, said she found this and she didn't know what she would do with it. And so I'm like, oh cool, I'll take it. Somebody made it. It's got like, cement in there it barely weighs anything though so I don't know if it's cement or what it is but it's how cute is that and it's made out of shells isn't that awesome I thought that was adorable so I couldn't pass that up okay then I got I just grabbed this case because it was right by these glasses, but these are vintage. It's not the right case for the glasses, but look at these vintage 
bifocal glasses. Oh my god, I don't even want to put them on. Because I'm not going to be able to see. It's going to hurt my eyes, but... I don't know if you guys could even see them. They're so funky. And you could always change the lenses. You know, these frames are coming back into style, so... I didn't give you guys a close-up, I guess. They're really cool. The, the frames. See how they're different colors up there? Funky! Just a minute. Okay, I'm back. Um, and then, I don't know where I was, but... So I got those glasses, and then I got this cute little... It's a vintage calculator. I just thought it was neat. It's in like a little gold. Look at that. It looks like a cigarette case. It's, it's cute. I thought it was so cute. And then it's a, it's a calculator. And I don't know what that black mark is right there, but it still works. The calculator works. It's hard to see even if I can turn it on here. Well, it did work. Oh, it's because it needs sunlight. That's not gonna show me. Oh my goodness. My luck. I wonder if it's because of the sun. I don't know. Can you see the numbers on there now? Let's see, it works. It works. But it's cute. I liked it. Vintage, cute. And I mean, if I ever do a little lot of like little trinkets and stuff like that, then I mean, this will be one of them that I can put in there, so. And then I got this, and this is the only one that I found in there. It's Ray Dunn, obviously, but it's cute. It's like a little, I don't know, a little shot of mocha, I guess. It just says Ray Dunn, the artisan collected by Magenta, blah, 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 blah. But it's cute. And this is the only one that I found in there, and it was in the new bins. So I'm sure if there was more, the people before me had already grabbed them because I didn't go to the new bins right when they came out. <clears throat> it was busy in there. It was really, really, really busy for a Thursday. Sorry, drinking my Friday night Mountain Dew. Woohoo! But yeah, it was super busy in there. I don't think I'll go back on a Thursday again. And then I got this. He's a cute little bank. I need to go to Hobby Lobby and pick up a stopper before I list him. But he's just a cute little Pokemon bank from 2016. Cute. He's ceramic too. He's not plastic. And then I grabbed a ton. I mean tons and tons. This whole huge pile of vintage scarves. I will go through them very quickly. Some of them have labels. Some of them don't. They're cute. Tulips. I'll try to point out the ones that do have labels like this one's echo and I'll show you the see the their vintage how adorable bye Tanner my son's leaving he's getting ready to go spend the night at a friend's house so that's the noise you hear if you hear anything and then I got this one and this one is Sally G or G I'm not really for sure how you pronounce it. Cute, aren't they cute? This one's um, Accessory Street. Cute, aren't these so cute? 
and I don't know yet if I'm just gonna list these all in one lot this one's echo I'm not for sure if I'm gonna list these all in one lot or a few different lots or individual uh, I guess I'll have to look them up this one's super pretty with the butterflies I just think they're adorable. And that one says, oh yeah, this is the one that says 1990 National Wildlife Federation. Let's see if I can. There we go. Isn't that cool? I thought these were really neat. This one, this one's Club Seven Echo. It's hard to see. And this one's, I don't even know how to pronounce that. But they're so pretty and cool. And I know vintage scarves are coming back. People like to wear them, so. This one, I don't see a label, but it's still pretty. This one's really cute. For sure. Yeah, I don't see a label on this one. I mean, and they're not in perfect shape. They're not in bad shape either, by all means, but they're not in perfect shape. Like, see, this one has a little spot on it. And some of them have like a tiny snag here and there, but not nothing bad. Like this one I remember had a snag. But I got it because again, well, it has his own price tag on it from whoever was trying to sell it before, but it's Sally, Sally Gee or G. I don't know how to pronounce it. Which way? These are so cute. Let me see if I can find the tiny, well there, can you see the tiny little snag? And it's not too bad, but there's not holes. There's no holes in them. There's just a lot of them. This one. And then these two are pretty cool. These next two. This one is the Mount Washington. I don't know. Korg Rail Railway? I can't. Cog Railway? But it does have a little hole in it. This one does. Can you see the little hole? But I just thought, I mean, it's cool. And it's very vintage. Let's see if I can show you guys all the scenes. I just thought this was cool. This is really old. It's like very, very fragile. Like I said, it already has a tiny little hole in it, which I will picture, but that's neat. New Hampshire. And then this last one, I don't believe there's any more in there. No, there's no more. And then this last one is Disney. Adorable. Cute. Okay, so there's the million scarves that I got. I'm, and this pile doesn't even weigh a pound. 
it probably don't even weigh a half a pound because they're so light and silky. All right. Then I got this mug and it's still new in the box. I thought it was cool. It's brand new. That is hilarious. <laughs> I liked it. I had to grab it, of course. And then I got a set of three, which I know it's missing the blue one, but I believe I have the blue one in my cupboard. The kids still use it. Um, of these glasses. So I might end up keeping these because the kids still use them and some of them have came up missing. So, and they're Tupperware. I see they're used. They need a little bit cleaned up. Not too, I mean, they're not dirty, but they've just been in the dishwasher a lot. Well, of course they're dirty because they've been in the bins, but you know what I mean. Tupperware glasses, cool, vintage. And then I got this. I'm not for sure. I think it might have had a lid, but I couldn't find the lid anywhere. But I just like the color of it. Look at the green. It's so pretty. And then the hand-painted flowers on there. I just thought it was cute. And I'm not even for sure what it is used for. I'm, it looks like it should have had a lid, maybe something I don't know but it's cool I liked it I like the color of it All right. then I got these cute little burgers adorable they're vintage um, Halloween decoration magnets I just could not leave these behind. They don't weigh anything. They're just so cute. I'm going to put them back for Halloween. Then I got this. And it was in the bag like this, so I'm not for sure if there was supposed to be another one in there. I don't even know anything about it. It feels like real fur, but it's a little doll. And I usually don't pick up dolls, but it was in a little bag. It doesn't, like I said, don't weigh nothing. I mean, of course, this stuff weighs once you get it all together, but how adorable. A little Eskimo baby. And that really does feel like real fur. It don't feel like the fake fur. Because I have some real fur coats, and it feels like that. Then I got this vintage horn. Oh, mega horn, whatever you call them. I don't know. Hawkeyes. But I know it's vintage because it's metal and they don't make them metal anymore. The souvenirs, they make them plastic. Everything's plastic. I mean, this part's plastic, of course, but this part would be plastic if it was newer, but it's not. And actually, I just... It's called a yellow phone in Memphis. Yellow, yellow phone, and then it gives the PO box. It says Memphis, Tennessee, but it doesn't say any any um, date on it. But it's cool. I like it. Then I got this thing, and I think this thing is haunted. <laughs> I think this. Hold on. I think this thing is haunted because I had it in the house in the sack full of with everything for like three hours and then all of a sudden it just started making noise and singing and I'm like oh my god it's creepy but this is cool I'm so surprised someone left it in the bins and it's vintage see that thing on the bottom and I'll turn it on <laughs> That's 
what I, I came in the house and I ran outside for something. I came back in and it was making noise. I'm like, oh my gosh, it scared me. I think he's supposed to walk maybe. I think he's supposed to walk maybe, but I'm not for sure. I just think he's cute. At least the music still works. And he's a vintage Santa. And then I picked up, I just threw these in there. Two trolls. This one's not old, obviously. But she's cute and I couldn't leave her behind. And this one, the eyes glow, how creepy. It's a creepy bunny troll. And this one's from... Nineteen... 1992, I think is what it says. It's creepy. Then I grabbed these two. And they're 1976 Walt Disney Productions Wilton Cake Pans. There's Donald Duck and Pinocchio. From 1976. Aren't these cute? Cute Disney cake bands. Alright, then I got this really nice coach, or not coach, oh my gosh, not coach. <laughs> Scratch that fossil. It's a huge difference, I know. Really nice, nice fossil. It's like a canvas purse and I will show you on the inside it's like brand new on the inside it's really nice it's in really nice shape like I said I think it's brand new and it's got a zipper on the back it doesn't have any stains spots nothing so I couldn't leave it behind and it's a nice canvas um, purse. I guess it does have one little spot on there. I might be able to try to get it out, get it off. It's not too bad. Oops. And then I did end up grabbing this vintage purse. I need to still clean it up. I just actually unloaded everything last night, so. I, I got this vintage purse. I love it. It's got the metal decorations on the bottom. And then I got it because on the inside, I mean, it is super vintage here. I'm gonna, I wish I could, let's see if I can show you guys the zipper first off. Look at the Art Deco lines on that. It's so cute. And then the label on the inside here. And see, it says Lewis with a crown. It's hard to see it. But it's cool. I thought it was really, really, really neat. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. And like I said, you guys know me and my vintage bags. I love vintage purses. Cute. Adorable. I believe it's probably from the 60s. And then this was the first thing I grabbed this uh, when I couldn't find a cart. I just went to look in the bins and then I just got sick of it after two seconds because I it's no fun shopping in the bins without a cart. It's no fun because obviously you're going to find stuff. Anyways, this Mickey Mouse fanny pack because fannies are coming back into style. And it's Mickey Mouse, of course. So who wouldn't want to wear a, a Mickey Mouse fanny? Cute, huh? <laughs> this Mountain Dew's getting me jacked up. I don't usually drink caffeine very much. If I drink, 
if I go to a restaurant, I'll have a tea. So, or in the summertime, I'll make my son tea. But I usually just drink water or milk for dinner. But it's Friday night. My boyfriend went to his friend's house. I'm home by myself, so. Woohoo! Okay, so then I picked up this, and I wasn't gonna pick up this because it's not really my style, but then I'm like, Missy, your style's not everybody's style. So somebody might like this. Plus it's brand new in the package. But anyways, it's an Easter cloth, tablecloth and napkins. And they're cloth, what's the size? Let's see it. It's so cute. Well, I mean, it is cute. It's just not my style. But it's someone's style because it's cute little Easter rabbits and stuff. It's spring. This, is, this would be cute for spring. Okay. Then I got this touch and tell me um, addition and subtraction thing. Isn't it cool? Did you guys ever have one of these? It's from, it's made in Hong Kong. I don't know if I could, oh yeah, 1981. I don't know if it's gonna show the date too well on there or if it'll focus, but isn't it cool? I thought it was neat. Touch and tell me math. And it really does. Like if you press down the number, you can see what the answer is. It's hard to show on camera, but it's cool. It does work. And I got this book, True Value Household Encyclopedia, this vintage book. And this copyright is, it does have one little writing, someone's initials up there, but that's all. No rips, no nothing, and this sucker is old. Let me see if I can even find a copyright date on there. Oh my goodness. Let's see, 1981. I don't know. I'm not seeing one. I'm just seeing contents, contents. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe if I look through it more, I don't wanna sit here and waste anybody's time, but it's cool. And all these books were together. There was that one, there was this one. They, it's got the same initials as the other one. Maybe if I can find a copyright date in this one. 1949. 1949. That is insane. That is crazy, 1949. Okay, moving on. And then there was this one. These are just so cool. Let's see if I can find a copyright date on this one. This one doesn't even feel like it's ever been opened. Favorite stories and poems for children with original illustrations from Famous Editions. Nin copyright 1950. 
And it is still in like brand new condition. Like seriously, I don't even think it's been open or read. That's awesome. And I got Paddington 2 Blu-ray. It's like brand new. Another Wilton cake pan. This one's from 1998. And Easter's coming. That's why I got this. And then the last thing I got, which this was another thing that made my heart weigh a lot, was this vintage ITT phone. It's olive or avocado green. Whatever you've called it back in the 70s, but this is so cool. I'm gonna take it out to my mom's and see if it works because I don't have a landline to try it out. And she does, so. And it's the brand, like I said, is ITT. I need to clean it up. It's a little bit dirty, obviously. But the brand is ITT. So, if it works, bonus. Awesome. So, for all this stuff, for only $33.54, I should make all my money back off of just this phone. So everything else is going to be profit. So I'm going to make quite a bit of money off of this haul. I just need to get my butt in the gear and get things listed. Tomorrow is going to be tough. I'm going to try to get a couple things listed tonight before I go to bed. But tomorrow we have our tax appointment at 11. Or I mean not at 11, sorry, at 1.30. And then after that, we're going to go on a date. We're going to go to Olive Garden and go see Jumanji 2. So I'm pretty excited for that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to hit up any thrift stores. Probably I'm not going to be able to talk my boyfriend into going because we're just going to be busy all day anyways. But Sunday, I plan on listing, listing, listing. So um, keep watching my eBay page. Right now, I've think I'm down to 40 some items because some things went off and some things sold so um, but like I said Sunday I'm gonna be listing so keep following me on my eBay page all the links will be in the description below for my YouTube page so you can watch my old videos and then eBay Etsy Instagram Facebook Macari all those links will be in the description below so and if you it's the Mountain Dew, I swear. <laughs> uh, so until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Hey guys, um, it is Super Bowl Sunday and I wanted to come back before I ended my video and show you these lamps that I just got delivered to me. They see them, they are so awesome. I didn't even have to go pick them up. They were delivered to me and I only paid $2.50 a piece. So $5 for the pair. That is it. That is all I paid for these. And my friend who I bought them from had sent me a picture of them a while back and I couldn't see the picture very well. They just looked like vintage lamps to me and I'm like, cool, five bucks for a pair of lamps. Sure, I'll take them. But... Now that I have them and she dropped them off to me, I got them. I'm wondering if they are Royal Hager. They kind of look like Royal Hager to me. What do you guys think? Let's see here. Let me see if I can get my, the flash is on. So just give me one second here. Okay, this might be a little bit better, but I think they might be Royal Hager. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Royal Hager, maybe? Okay, I wanted to show you guys that they work, too. So, the, the see, it's plugged in. And... See, 
they both work. So I don't know. I wish I knew if I could tell if they were Royal Hager or not. They're cool though. Five bucks for the pair. You can't beat that. See you next time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking.